The pandemic, a word that sounds so familiar to us that whenever we hear it, we equate it to the COVID-19 virus and just wish that we could travel a year into the future. But how did it get this way? And how come this virus seems to be only one of a handful that can change the way we live? Ever since the first humans walked the earth, there's always been a battle of humans and germs. A battle so fierce that just malaria alone is estimated to have killed nearly half of all humans that have ever lived. That's around 50 billion people. And this, among many other killers out there, eventually led to the creation of the vaccine in 1796 by Edward Jenner, a scientist in Burghley, England, who used pus from a cowpox lesion to inoculate an eight-year-old boy. James Phillips. Since the arrival of vaccines, we've eradicated smallpox and rinderpest, and crippled many other diseases such as polio, tetanus, and hepatitis B. We've been without a critical pandemic like this for 60 years. But out of nowhere, a virus known as SARS-CoV-2, also known as COVID-19, shows up. And it spreads efficiently among our current way of living today. How has COVID-19 been able to infect 180 million people across the world? What makes COVID-19 so special? To start off, the COVID-19 virus is among many in the same family of coronavirus and shares 50% of its genome with MERS-CoV, which is an ongoing disease originating from the Middle East and causes severe respiratory illness and fever, which seems a lot like the symptoms of COVID-19, but while MERS has a higher mortality rate, COVID-19 is much more transmissible, thanks in part to its ability to stay in the air as tiny droplets left over from when you cough or sneeze. Another trick COVID-19 has up its sleeve is that of its ability to spread to other people while the host doesn't show any symptoms of infection. So by the time someone is showing symptoms, you already have to worry about three or so people that came into contact with the host. Yet another advantage that COVID-19 has it's due to the way that viruses mutate and is unavoidable with the amount of people getting infected each day. The initial virus is starting to mutate and make variants, and some of these variants are more infectious than the original virus, and they're more deadly than the original virus, prompting more stringent measures to be taken in order to slow the spread of COVID-19 and these variants of concern. One of these variants of COVID-19, known as B1617.2, but most commonly referred to as the Delta variant, is estimated to be 45% to 130% more infectious than the original COVID-19 strain. And that's all due to how viruses replicate. Viruses are made up of a cell membrane with RNA and DNA encased in a protein coating, but they don't have any other organelles to replicate their DNA. So they need to hijack your cells by using spike proteins, but it doesn't always work. The Delta variant of COVID-19 seems to have a mutation on the part of its genome that builds the spike proteins. And it just happened that the gene mutation made the spike proteins better at binding with your cells, which ended up making it the new dominant strain or variant of the COVID-19 virus. So even though this pandemic might seem like the most widespread one we've ever had, it only seems that way because of how much people travel in the modern era, compared to what traveling was like 200 years ago. Today we have planes to cross oceans, faster and more efficient cars and roadways, and more people. But the only advantage we have against these diseases is our medicine. This pandemic wasn't the worst one, and it's not the first, but it certainly won't be the last.